Hey everyone, today's Today is Sandra. I don't, honestly, it's been a long day. I'm trying to keep it together. My name is Sandra, welcome to my video. I do videos about beauty products and this one's going to be about lipsticks. They are my favorite Dusty Rose lipsticks right now and I have five lipsticks to share with you. I don't know about you, but every time I tell myself I'm going to stop buying lipstick, I don't need any more lipstick, I have too much lipstick. I end up buying more lipstick. And before I get into the lipsticks and actually trying them on, I do want to give a shout out to this lip primer because this lip primer is amazing especially when it comes to using matte lip products I used to just use a regular lip balm to prime my lips but this lip primer is awesome because it actually is matte it doesn't give any shine to your lips whatsoever it just gives your lips that hydrated comfortable feeling but it stays matte and kind of smooths the texture of your lips this is a really really good product so this is the Clarence instant light lip perfecting base and it smells delicious. It smells like the Clarins Lip Perfectors. Let's get started with the lipsticks. The first lipstick is the color that I'm wearing right now. And this is the NARS Pure Matte Lipstick in the color Montego Bay. And this is a swatch of it right here. It's a neutral, rosy pink color, and it's a matte formula. I'm actually a big fan of the NARS Pure Matte Lipstick formula. I definitely prefer this formula to the Audacious Lipsticks. I actually love the fact that it comes in this slimmer packaging. You just get a lot of control because the bullet is small. So you get a lot of control, application's really nice and smooth. Color lasts a long time on the lips without feeling too uncomfortably dry. All right, going to remove this now. The next lip product I want to talk about is the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the color Bell. This Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil is a new release, it's a new formula. They do have the regular lip and cheek pencils, which have a little bit of a shine to them, but these are totally matte. They're very similar to the NARS Matte Velvet Lip Pencils, but they are not quite as drying. The formula has a little bit more slip to it and it's a little creamier. I love this color so much. It definitely has a bit more brown in it. So here's the swatch of Belle. And I actually did try wearing it on my cheeks. I really like the effect. Give a beautiful natural flush to the cheeks and it lasted a long time and I have a tutorial showing you how I use this on my cheeks. I'm gonna have a link to it up on the screen. Right, the next color is the Bourgeois Rouge Edition Velvet in the color Nudist. It's got a lot more warmth. So this is the swatch of it right here. So it's got less brown in it than the Nude Sticks Bell, but it's a little bit deeper. It's got a little bit more warmth than the NARS Montego Bay. It's a very silicone-y feeling formula. It just glides onto the lips while staying super, super thin and it's very pigmented. It is also not drying and it actually leaves a really pretty stain behind. I do have some of the brighter colors in this formula, but this is my favorite one. The brighter colors can be a little bit tricky to work with because the formula has so much slip to it. This is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in the color number 10, Nude Flush. And this is my favorite lip color out of the whole Vivid Matte Liquid range. And it's very deceiving because it swatches, I feel like it swatches darker than it ends up looking on the lips. So in the swatch, you see it doesn't look that different than the Bourjois, but when you actually put it on the lips, it's a lot more pale. This formula is definitely a little bit thicker and creamier than the Bourjois Matte Velvet formula, but it's still incredibly comfortable to wear and it has a jasmine scent. I like the scent, it doesn't bother me, but some people have commented on how strong the scent of these is, so just keep that in mind if you are sensitive to scents. I do wear it quite a lot. It's really, really nice worn with a smoky eye. This is the only non-matte lipstick in the bunch and it's by Clarins. This is actually the oldest lipstick. This is the one that I've had for the longest out of all the ones that I'm showing you today. It is the Clarins Rouge Eclat in color number 17, Pink Magnolia. They're quite similar to the YSL Rouge Volupt Shines, except they have a little less slip to them, which I find better because you can kind of get a better sense of the lipstick when you're applying it. Beautiful formula and I bought this color ooh, when, it, when it first came out it was in a limited edition collection but now um, I looked up online and it seems to be part of their permanent range so the color is number 17 pink magnolia it's super hydrating it's the perfect type of uh, lip color to keep in your bag it's a great lip color for the workplace and this is a swatch of it it's like a more slightly more hydrating deeper sister of the NARS Montego Bay lipstick so just to recap the swatches this is Clarence pink magnolia 
This is NARS Montego Bay. This is Nude Sticks Bell. This is Bourgeois Nudist. And this is Maybelline Nude Flush. So that concludes today's video. I hope you found it helpful and I hope that this might have helped you find your new favorite lipstick. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a great day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.